Hi guys, I hope you are doing well and keeping safe. Now this video is for all the people who are learning to prepare a good financial model and of course the people who are preparing the financial models. So I recently received a financial model and I'll tell you what were my observations in that. So in that model, the person used seven different font colors. That's right, seven different font colors. Now guys, uh, I know that you've been trying to learn about the concepts of the standards on modeling, right? And I receive a lot of models on the FAST standards on modeling. Uh, it's, it's very good that you are learning, right? Full marks for your effort. But understand something. In those standards, right, there is something known as color coding, right? Now, color coding does not mean that you have to give a different color to practically everything in your financial model. What it means is that in your financial model, you should be having some color bifurcations for some specific things. What are those things? We'll definitely discuss in this video. And another aim of creating a financial model, guys, is that it should be easy for the person, for the third person to understand, right? Now, if a person is looking at your financial model, the person will not be having so much of your, uh, so much of the time to understand the rainbow, right? So do not use so many different colors in financial models. And I'm specifically talking about font colors, right? Now, your entire financial model can be handled with only three font colors, right? First is the imports. What do I mean by imports in the financial model? Suppose you are working on a worksheet, right? And you need to bring something from an input sheet or from other from another sheet, right? Now, let's say you link something on the worksheet that you are preparing to some other worksheet, right? You let's say it's revenue, right? You you brought volume of goods sold, right? Or volume of goods produced, let's say. You bought volume of goods produced from the input sheet, right? Now you are importing that thing to the current worksheet. Now that will be marked as imports and give it a blue color, right? So restrict blue color for the imports font color all right so suppose you bring something from the input sheet you link something to the input sheet and you give it a blue color another case is that suppose you compute revenue right you brought volume of goods you bought price per unit and you compute revenue now that revenue number will be linked to the PNL account. So there are two things that are happening here. First, something is being linked from the input sheet. Second, something is being linked to the PNL sheet. Something is coming in from the input sheet. Something is going out from your revenue sheet to the PNL sheet. Now, it is very, very important that you bifurcate these two aspects with different colors. We talked about giving blue color to the imports. Give a red color to the exports. All right, so blue color for the imports, red color for the exports. All right, and whatever will be your intra sheet linkages. Suppose you compute volume of goods produced or let's say volume of goods from volume of goods produced you come to volume of goods that you will be selling right then you compute it forecast it price per unit and in the in the revenue segment you uh, said okay price into volume will give me revenue so there will be some intra sheet linkages as well all right those intra sheet linkages should be marked with black color that's all these are the three color codings that you need for a model. Imports, intrasheet and exports.
That's it, guys. Do not complicate the model with using different colors. Right? That's all. And and we'll talk about why this is very important. Let's say you are working on a, a revenue computation sheet. Right? You are computing the revenue. Now, the things that you have in, uh, brought from the input sheet, right? Those are inputs and those are with your blue color. Now, why are we specifically talking about giving a different color to the inputs and giving a different color to the exports? Because if I am just looking at the model, if I am just reading a worksheet, I should be having an idea as to what are the imports and what are the exports? Why? So as if so as not to accidentally delete those segments. Suppose I have linked my uh, my revenue computation to some other row in my same worksheet. Right now, if I accidentally delete it, what will happen? Your entire model will go for a toss. Correct. We have observed that many a times, right? When we delete something, we get referrers across. In order to avoid that, consider this scenario. If I am just looking at the worksheet and I have different colors, I know what are my imports. I know what are my exports. So will I delete those segments? Never. Now I will know that, okay, I do not have to touch them. I can't delete them because if these are my imports these are used somewhere in the formula or if this is marked as an export i can't delete that all right so keep this thing in mind guys so we'll be having a, a series of short videos right uh, so i have explained you color codings the next is some calculation block i'll keep keep giving you some tips and tricks on financial modeling all right i hope you'll keep that thing in mind guys color codings restrict yourselves to three colors do not complicate the model with, you know, a rainbow of colors. All right. See you around in the next video, guys. All the very best.